Kata Littles was filled with excitement. In just two days, she was due to get married to the love of her life, her longtime boyfriend Adam. The two had been together for quite a few years, having met in college on a night out. It had been love at first sight, and the two had been almost inseparable ever since. After a long time together, Adam finally popped a question. He did it in one of the most romantic settings that he could think of. On the beach, underneath a beautiful sunset, Kata immediately said yes. She was ecstatic to finally be marrying the man that she had loved for so long. The two immediately began to plan their big day. Kata wanted it to be absolutely perfect. She wanted the perfect wedding dress, the perfect location, and the perfect decorations. However, as time went by and preparing for the wedding got more serious, Kata noticed that Adam had become quite a lot more distant with her. Instead of happily greeting her and talking to her about anything and everything like he usually would, Adam would be much more quiet and reserved. Instead, he would spend his time either on his phone, out with his friends, or picking up extra shifts at work. It seemed as if he was trying to avoid Kata, even though she was his future wife. Thinking that it was simply wedding nerves, Kata didn't allow her fiancé's strange behavior get to her head. Instead, she tried her hardest to make Adam as comfortable as possible and made sure to tell him how much she loved him and how they could have their wedding as casual as he liked it if he made them feel better. Finally, almost a year after getting engaged, Adam and Kata's big day was only two days away. The young woman was incredibly excited and she couldn't wait to walk down the aisle to finally become Adam's wife. The day arrived and Kata woke up as early as she could. She and Adam had decided to spend the night apart so they could reunite at the altar. The young woman and her bridesmaid spent the morning getting ready and having a wonderful time together. Once Kata was ready, she and the rest of her wedding party traveled to the church where Adam was waiting. Once arriving at the building, Kata went to speak to her father before the ceremony began. However, when it came time for her to walk down the aisle, she couldn't seem to find one of her bridesmaids, her best friend Danny. To make matters worse, the groomsmen also couldn't find Adam. The entire wedding began to look for the pair, but when Kata found them, she couldn't believe her eyes. Danny and Adam had snuck into a back room where they were being intimate with each other. As soon as Kata saw what was happening, she immediately began shouting at the two. She simply couldn't believe that her best friend and her fiancé, the love of her life, had betrayed her in such a horrible and insensitive way. Adam tried to plead for forgiveness, but Kata knew that she couldn't after what he had done to her. The wedding was called off and Kata moved out of her and Adam's apartment as quickly as she could. But the damage had already been done. Kata was so angry and hurt at what had happened that she got rid of everything that reminded her of Adam. The only thing she couldn't stop though was her ex-fiancé's attempts to contact her. The man, despite what he had done, still wanted to be with Kata and was desperate to get her to agree to stay with him and even marry him like they had planned. This continued for a few months, with Adam messaging at least once every couple of weeks. However, Kata ignored everything he said to her. She wanted nothing more to do with the man who broke her heart. One day, Kata was walking down the street when all of a sudden, Adam began to follow her. Getting worried with the strange behavior, Kata began to walk faster. As she turned the corner, she suddenly ran into a homeless man. The gentleman quickly steadied Kata and asked if she was okay. Knowing that Adam was about to catch up with her, the young woman asked the man if he could quickly pretend to be her boyfriend. Seeing that she was in distress, the man agreed and told Kata that his name was Jay. Just then, Adam rounded the corner, eagerly looking for Kata. However, he was shocked when he saw Kata with Jay. As soon as Kata saw Adam, she introduced him to Jay, claiming that he was her long-term boyfriend. Taken aback with the sudden introduction, Adam inspected the new man. Seeing how dirty and ragged he looked, Adam was skeptical of the relationship and asked Kata where she had met him 
and why he looked like a homeless man. Thinking quickly, Jay told Adam that he was just making his back from a long weekend of camping. His campsite had gotten rained out, so he was filthy from all of the mud. Annoyed, Adam tried to tell Kada that he still wanted to be with her. But Jay instantly shot him down. He told the man that she clearly didn't want to be with him anymore and that she had moved on and he should do the same. She wasn't going to be going back to him as they were in love and happy with their lives. Finally, Jay told Adam that if he didn't leave Kata alone, then they would call the police for a restraining order. Seeing that he had no other option, Adam agreed to leave the woman alone and walked away. Once her ex-fiancé had gone, Kata turned to Jay and thanked him for his help, along with apologizing for throwing him into the situation like that. Jay told the young woman that it was okay and that he was happy to help. As a way to thank him for his help, Kata asked if he would like to grab a coffee with her. Jay happily accepted and the two headed off to a local coffee shop. While having their drinks, Kata asked Jay about himself and how he had ended up on the streets. Jay explained that he had once been a fairly successful businessman who earned quite a lot of money. However, one day his sister became very ill. In order to help her out, Jay spent all of his money on the hospital bills. Sadly though, his sister didn't pull through. Extremely upset about what had happened, Jay couldn't find it in himself to go back to work. Only a few months later, he lost his business and his home as he wasn't able to pay rent. Without nowhere to go, he ended up on the streets. Jay couldn't find it in himself to try and get back on his feet. He was devastated by his sister's death and didn't know how to go on without her as they had been quite close. Upset and moved by his story, Kata couldn't help but admire Jay for what he had done. She was also incredibly grateful for how he had helped her out. So wanting to repay him, she asked if he would like to stay with her for a while until he was able to get back on his own two feet. Jay was amazed by her offer. He couldn't believe that someone would be so kind to him after all of the hate that he had had to deal with while homeless. The man agreed and promised that he would help out at home to thank Kata for her kindness. The two lived together for a couple of months, slowly getting to know each other better and becoming good friends. It wasn't much longer after Jay had moved in though, that Kata started to develop feelings for him. After he had cleaned himself up from the streets, the young woman was able to see that he was actually quite handsome and not much older than she was. Luckily for her, Jay also began to develop feelings for the young woman. The two began dating and feeling like they had known each other for longer than they actually had. Jay simply couldn't hold back from asking Kata to marry him. The young woman was completely in love with Jay and agreed immediately. When all of Kata's friends and family heard that she was marrying a homeless man, despite him not being homeless anymore, they instantly began trying to dissuade her from it. They didn't think that he was good enough for her and her parents even tried to persuade Kata to leave Jay and go back to Adam. But Kata ignored everyone and married to the man she loved. Little did they know what would happen next. After Kata and Jay got married, they decided to build a new business together. They focused on creating an app that would help other businesses manage their expenses and other admin documents in a much more efficient way. The app was a huge success and Kata and Jay were soon very wealthy. However, neither of them cared about the money as long as they had each other. As for Adam, he never tried to contact Kata again and instead simply watched as she lived an amazing life with the man who treated her as she deserved. Let me know what you thought of this story in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible videos.